Hello, it is I, Vadim, and in this video I am going to unbox the ASRock A620M Pro RS Wi-Fi motherboard. We'll have a look at uh, what kind of accessories come with it in the box, and then I'll walk you through all of its features and specifications. So, let's open this up and have a look. Well, there are two antennas included, because this is a Wi-Fi motherboard. So it has a Wi-Fi built-in. And two SATA cables. All of the M.2 accessories, like the standoff screws and the, and the regular screws that you use to uh, install the M.2 NVMe SSDs. Of course, user manual that explains everything you need to know about the motherboard and its features and different slots and whatnot. And I think, yeah, that is it for the accessories. Very basic. No wonder that is expected considering the price because this thing costs just 138 British pounds in the UK, $125 in the US, or 135 euros if you are in Europe. So let me just quickly tidy this up, free up some space, and we'll have a look at the motherboard itself. But I think I'll need yeah, I'll need both hands to open that up. There we go, here it is. One of the cool things about this thing is that the I.O. shield, look at that, it comes pre-installed. Very nice. So you don't have to mess around with that. I love that. And there is this uh, foam piece right here to keep the motherboard safe during shipping. Let's start with the most important thing. This motherboard supports CPUs only up to 120 watts. So don't plan on putting something like Ryzen 9 7950X in here or 7900X because those are 170 watt CPUs not supported on this motherboard. But everything else below that, something like uh, even Ryzen 9 7950X 3D, that is 120 watts and it can easily handle that. No problems whatsoever. But look at that. This is a 6 plus 2 plus 1 power phase design. And check it out. It even comes with heat sinks. <laughs> on both on both uh, VRM strips. So there is a little heat sink for the for the VRMs at the top and uh, check it out. This is actually quite beefy for a budget motherboard. This heat sink is quite thick. Check it out. Yeah, very nice, very nice indeed. But let's have a look at the IO what kind of connections we have here? Well, of course, we get the Wi-Fi 6E, BIOS flash for updating BIOS convenience, and HDMI display port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 type A USB ports and 1 type C USB port. And this is uh, a 1 gigabit uh, LAN port. When it comes to audio connections, it's just the standard ones. Okay, pretty nice so far. In terms of storage, you get four SATA ports, two over here and two more over here. If you want to connect your M.2 and VME SSDs, then make sure to use uh, this slot first. This is a Gen 4 with a nice little heatsink. Well, it's not that little, it's quite thick actually. Check it out. I've seen thinner heatsinks on uh, previous motherboards. Then you should populate this M.2 uh, SSD port. This is also Gen 4. 
and only then consider populating this one right here because this is Gen 3 and it is limited to just two lanes. So definitely do not put your fast SSDs in here. Make sure to use those two instead. And check it out, that's the Wi-Fi module. Of course, because this is a 620 motherboard, uh, this uh, PCIe slot is Gen 4, not Gen 5. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna be a problem anytime soon, so don't worry about that many many more future generations of graphics cards will work just fine with this motherboard no worries this usb connector for the front panel is a 5 gigabit one so it's not the fastest it's not one of those 20 gigabit per second ones but it's still cool for memory expansion you get four ddr5 slots and uh, the slots open up from one side only, so this uh, this side is uh, solid. How many fan connectors do you think we have here? One for the CPU, and I see two, three, four, five. Yeah, five fan connectors, that is quite decent actually, you know. <laughs> The days of uh, super cheap uh, budget motherboards uh, being pretty bad at this, they're over. This is actually quite good. Even without a fan hub, you can connect all your case fans to this thing. Power 3 at the front and one exhaust at the back. That's it. What else do you need? Another thing worth pointing out is uh, RGB LED connections. So this is addressable LED. One, two, and there's the third connection. And just regular LED is here as well, which is quite standard these days. So there you go. Check it out. In terms of design, this motherboard looks quite nice. Check it. It's like a black and silver theme going on here. <laughs> Let's have a look at what, uh, what it looks like at the back. Yeah, nothing special, regular stuff, glossy PCB, glossy black PCB, pretty regular. But what do you expect for 100 plus dollars? <laughs> I really like the size of these uh, VRM heat sinks. Just check it out. Yeah, this is quite good. I'm very pleased with this motherboard. And yeah, let me know what do you think in the comments below. Use the links in the description below if you want to get one for yourself. You can do that from basically any country where you have Amazon. Just click the link and it will take you to your local Amazon store. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more if you haven't already. It was I, Vadim, until next time.